Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm doing a collaboration cook with several other great YouTube channels. So go and search hashtag GrillMyCheese to check out their videos. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So today I'm going to be making two different kinds of grilled cheese. One traditional style grilled cheese with nothing but cheese on it. And I've got some sharp cheddar cheese that I'm going to be grating up and also some fresh mozzarella that I'm going to be putting on that grilled cheese. My second grilled cheese is a chef's choice. That's part of the collaboration. Uh, you can just do one grilled cheese or you can do a chef's choice. I'm going to do both. So traditional, my second grilled cheese is a green chili chicken uh, grilled cheese. And I've got some hatched green chilies here. I've got some butter for the bread. I'm using some sourdough bread. Then I'm going to be uh, grilling up some chicken thighs as well. And I made some of these for a uh, catering gig that I had the other day and I absolutely loved that chicken and I'm going to be cutting this up and obviously putting in the grilled cheese but let me show you the rubs that I'm going to be using on my chicken here this is the Victory Lane Season Everything this is one that you rarely see me use um, but I do use a lot of it as you can see this bottle is almost empty and then the second rub is this rub called Pork and Chicken Rub from Our House Barbecue this stuff is amazing um, it's, it even has coffee in it it's got um, brown sugar, paprika, kosher salt, onion and garlic, I'm sure in a powder form, uh, black pepper, uh, chili powder, parsley, <clears throat> excuse me, coffee and some other spices. But uh, let me show you what I'm going to do to one of these chicken thighs here. Just grab your season everything. Ooh, these thighs are nice and cold and that's important to make sure that your chicken's nice and cold. Put enough of this rub on there guys, you're not going to hurt its feelings, trust me just like that and on the second rub again this our house pork and chicken rub you have got to get yourself some of this stuff look at this color and I had no idea it had coffee until I was reading the ingredients on the bottle so look at this and put enough of it it's gonna give it a nice color as well along with the flavor just like that Look at that. So I'm going to rub the rest of these chickens down, guys, and I'll see you guys outside. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. We are outside at my Yoder flat top, and I just uh, put the chicken on there. Let me give you guys a, a look. Let that smoke clear. You'll be able to see the chicken there. There we go. So what I did is I dropped a basket of Kingsford charcoal, just Kingsford blue, and then I put two splits, or three splits, of some oak wood there on the bottom, let it get nice and ashed over, and at that point, um, just close the cover, the vent on the, the intake on the bottom right side, I've got it cracked maybe a quarter of an inch, and then when I close the lid, um, I do close the exhaust to about a quarter of an inch as well. So. Uh, these will take about uh, 45 minutes or so, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So it's been 40 minutes, and the chicken is ready. And just a bit of information, I am spritzing with apple cider vinegar and water, mixed at 50%. Every time I flipped, essentially I was spritzing the chicken just like that. So that way the uh, chicken doesn't dry out, stays nice and juicy. So I'm going to pull the chicken off and set up my grill for the uh, grilled cheese, so stay tuned. All right, guys, not sure what happened to my camera, but I had a... Uh, looks like I wasn't recording. But I went ahead and put some mozzarella and some cheddar cheese on this one here. Same thing with this one, but I topped it off with some of the green chili. And let's give this one a flip. Oh, look at that. Beautiful crust. So the cheese is getting nice and melty. Nice and melted. So here's my grilled chicken. Put some of that on this grilled cheese here. And this chicken is to die for, guys. This is the absolute best grilled chicken I think I've ever made. So let's put enough chicken on this one. Just like that. A little bit more chicken. Just like that. Alright. I'm on this one with the chicken, I'm gonna to top it with some more cheese. That way it sticks to the bread. It's okay if you make a mess. Just a little bit more cheese. Just like 
like that. Then we're going to put the top on it. Look at that toast. Let's give this one a flip. Oh yeah. Those things are looking amazing. So I'm going to finish this up and uh, we'll catch you guys inside. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So the grilled cheese are ready and I'm just going to cut these in half. So you guys can hear the crunch on this. Remember, I toasted both sides, which is going to give you a nice, crunchy uh, grilled cheese. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. Listen to that crunch. This is the one with the chicken, the green chili chicken. And this is my plain grilled cheese. Take a look at that one. It's got the mozzarella and the cheddar cheese. And look at this bad boy. The green chili, the chicken the cheddar cheese and the mozzarella. So we're gonna back the camera up and give it a taste. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So the grilled cheese are ready and my daughter and I are gonna taste this and tell you what we think about it. And uh, she's, she just likes plain old grilled cheese. And of course I'm having the green chili cheese, grilled chili chicken grilled cheese and tell you what we think about it. So, but look at this, looks amazing. Hers is just the mozzarella and the cheddar cheese and um, I'm expecting a lot out of this grilled cheese because it looks amazing. What about you, baby? It looks really good. Yeah? Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Here you go. Mmm. What do you think, Mom? It's really good. Buttery? Mm -hmm. Crunchy? Mmm. Guys, that, um, that green chili? From Hatch has a little bit of bite, nothing too crazy, but that chicken, that grilled chicken, and the cheesiness. Again, I put cheese on the bottom and the top, so it's kind of like glue, so it holds on to that chicken and holds the sandwich together. But it's absolutely amazing. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to check out the other channels. Uh, search that hash, hashtag Grill My Cheese. Check out their videos. Until next time, Joe Smoky Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.